human civilization around the world had uh, depended largely on the agro biodiversity of plants animals fish trees etc it is very necessary that we take care of these genetic resources much more scientifically as well as through protecting these resources legally in this whole context in the global scenario there are many developments that have taken place and there is a paradigm shift from conservation to use and that's why the convention on biological diversity and the treaty on genetic resources for food and agriculture by fao have come into operation to which india is signatory we have also built our strength in the context of genetic resource uh, bureau of uh, plant animal fish and insects and microbes and uh, india has uh, demonstrated to the rest of the world that uh, we have uh, moved forward to take care of these resources not only by only collecting and conserving but also through legal system such as uh, biodiversity act and uh, plant variety and farmers right act that is one of the unique act which we have uh, today uh, in whole of the world and uh, trying to uh, encourage through that farmers and the farming communities to take care of genetic resources more effectively uh we need to understand how the science and uh, the legal developments and uh, policy support globally has enabled these resources to be built and are available for exchange for the benefit of human kind in this process we are organizing the first uh, agro biodiversity conference at international level from 6 to 9th november and this conference is being inaugurated by honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji we are expecting about 800 uh, participants from 60 countries and many eminent scientists who are known in this area of specialization would be delivering uh, their uh, lectures we also are having the farmers forum a public forum for involvement of stakeholders to conserve genetic resources and uh, satellite symposia and a round table of all gene bank managers from more than 40 countries this is a unique opportunity where we can uh, showcase the strength of indian national system which is built under the umbrella of indian council of agriculture research and this conference is being sponsored by more than 25 different organizations including icr uh, ministry of environment and also department of science and technology and uh, the indian society of genetics and plant breeding and international organizations like biodiversity international uh, cimet uh, international center on wheat and maize icris act and uh, many others we uh, would be expecting a great uh, uh, outcome from this conference in the form of delhi declaration so that we have a road map to take care of genetic resources in future and to have uh, access and benefit sharing mechanism better understood so that our food basket could continue getting diversified than what it is today we are aware if we had not exchanged in the past the genetic resources uh, we would have not got potato and tomato which came from europe or would have not got soya bean which came from is uh, from china and from us we would have not got uh, many other vegetables which are being grown today here and we have also given to the rest of the world valuable genetic resources of many crops species 
and our strength in animal uh, genetic resources is, is unique and the uh, whole world is looking towards uh, India for getting these resources to combat the uh, challenge of climate change which is now a reality.